hello everyone welcome back to another informative video in this video i'm going to show you what the antiviral uh, mesh looks like and also what the the shade cloth looks like um, i'm going to see if i can show you what the plastic looks like also right um, but i don't think i'll be able to like hold it, the plastic in my hands but i can show you the antiviral mesh 70% and, uh, and a shade cloth um, close up so this is obviously a cucumber house right this is uh, the large the long cucumbers the ones that are long in length um, not the mini ones right I don't remember the variety uh, right but um, yeah they are looking okay um, so let us look at the, the antiviral net or mesh so this is the antiviral mesh right as you can see this is what it looks like right as you can see the holes they are very very fine so what this does is um, and this is basically this is the and this is 70 percent and this is what is used to to cover the the, the sides of, of 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 the entire all the structures um, on this uh, greenhouse farm right um, so what I was explaining in my previous video, if you haven't watched that, please go and watch it to understand, right? Um, remember I was telling you that the holes are small, so you find that, that any um, wind coming from outside is going to kind of more kind of be restrictive. You're not going to get that um, good wind um, or airflow coming through and, 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 and circulating within the, within, the, within the greenhouse, right? So that is one of the drawbacks with using antiviral you will have um, less airflow coming from outside but you will it will it will basically the good thing is it, it will basically reduce the the, the, the the insect pests coming in as you can see the holes are very fine so you find that some insects cannot penetrate or come through it so it will basically help you um, in 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 that regards where where pests where insect pests is concerned right but um, the other thing I spoke about with using the antiviral 70% and and hop uh, mesh is um, if you go if you if you're in a, an hot hot climate right you basically need to it, it would be good if you have some form of of, of um, airflow fans um, moving air uh, throughout the greenhouse right because as you as you know the, the, and you can basically know by looking at your plants. Your plants not really moving they are basically still right to show you that the airflow is not really um so what i would say um high right um so that is one of the drawbacks with the antiviral you need to have some some kind of active ventilation don't mind the plants moving now which is going contrary to what i'm saying the only reason why they are moving is because there is this large hole in the roof so um, right, so um, yeah, that is why you have an, an, an influx of um, wind coming in, and as you can see, it just happens periodically, every now and then, right? Um, which which is good, but that just leaves an opening for pests to come in. But that's supposed to be closed. If it was closed, you wouldn't really see that kind of heavy um, reaction or movement from the plants, right? So, um, right, so this is, this, is, this is what you need to know, you know. Using mesh, you need to have some kind of um, horizontal airflow fans moving the air um, throughout the greenhouse. And the horizontal airflow fans would basically be situated in the roof, right? In the roof, um, like one on this side, one on the other side, you know, coming up. So, and you're, you're, you're circulating the air, right? Um, and and um yeah and of course uh the shade cloth this is a, 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 a this is a shade cloth this is black right um this is basically uh this looks like maybe a um maybe 47 or 48 percent right and remember the the um the smaller the number the larger the holes this is a smaller number hence you see larger holes on the shade cloth on the antiviral now you basically see smaller holes and the number number is larger because this is like 70 percent or more right so let me show you something else um so you must be wondering why this shade cloth is inside the house um 
and he's not using it to cover the, the sides. Okay, let me show you what is happening. Right? Um, yeah, and these cucumbers, they are getting watered. Right? So, yeah. As you can see, the canal get, gets filled with water. Right? And as soon as it reaches a certain level, it shuts off. Right? But then it drains goes back to the main reservoir and then it basically comes on every hour so they so they get they get water water every hour water along with nutrients so um yeah so this is so this is the shade cloud so this is what it is used for um so uh the plastic let us talk about the plastic first so that is um that is the greenhouse plastic that you are looking at unfortunately i can't reach um, um any of it right now right but that is the greenhouse plastic and i think that one is basically uh that one is i think that is a a three mil uh, i think maybe it's a three mil i'm not sure but i'm just judging based off the the um the light that is coming through right so yeah um yeah so the the shade cloth no the shade cloth is basically um, use in here to further reduce the intensity of the sunlight so basically the plastic is reducing the the intensity already um, and also blocking the uv light and then the, the the mesh is basically used now when it when it gets too hot to pull across um the roof uh, which is underneath the plastic to further reduce the intensity of the sunlight to create a, a, a better microclimate inside inside the house um, for the plants so that is basically it right um, as, it re as it relates to the greenhouse covering and remember some some farmers they also they also use the this black shade cloth as I was saying in my video they also use this black shade cloth to put on the sides too as well so instead of using the antiviral a lot of farmers use the shade cloth right but remember i was explaining is that, that when you use the shade cloth right as you can see the holes in the shade cloth in this um 47 uh, between 47 and 48 percent shade cloth is much bigger than the antiviral as you can see 70 percent as you can see so what this black mesh does is it will let you more insects but at the same time the advantage is so that is a disadvantage letting through more insect um, so you maybe have to do more spraying or more pest management and then the advantage is it, it lets through more breeze more here so your plants will get more more better better air circulation better exchange of um, of air um, to, be, to, 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 to to create better air quality um, and so on uh, more CO2 and so on right for the plants in terms of replenishing the CO2 in the greenhouse so this shade cloth will give you better airflow right but you'll have to deal with more pests and remember I was saying also that if you could get the black the, the, the white mesh just like you have the white um, antiviral mesh if you could get the white um, shade cloth in whatever percentage you want it if you're going to use 48 to 47 to 50 percent try and get the white one if you're not getting the white one then fine use the black one Right, because as I was saying, the black one is used um, very. It's very common in the Caribbean, right? Um, yeah. So watch my previous videos and look at this one, and then you will get to put everything into perspective. So right. So the cucumbers they are looking okay. Um, they are, they are they're showing a bit of um, deficiency, a little bit, right? But um, right. But they they are generally kind of okay. Um, just need to look at the the the, um, the EC and and um, check and just just look at the plants, look at what deficiency they're exhibiting, and try to um, fix that. But they are looking okay generally. They're starting to put on um, fruits or flowers. This is a female flower. Uh, this is a female flower, right? Um, so they start putting on fruits already, right? So. Yeah, if you have any questions, any comments, please put them in the comments here. Please remember to subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.